Emergency signal from the General's MA. It's... it's an Ultima reading. Why is the General carrying an Ultima bomb? <laughs> I'm not going down alone. It's over for Milites anyway. I'll take them all with me. What? Was it you? Did you put the... The signal. Ultima? Even an explosion from the smaller prototype in this vicinity can take out the base as well as the entire city. And maybe all of Militus.
We've just received word that the White Peristilium is under our control. So, it's finally ours. It gave us more trouble than I expected. And what of... Sir Allstar? We are trying to find him, but... If we subdue the Crystal of the White Tiger, he will be helpless. Yes. Thus, Orients is united under Rubu. The Vermilion... On this day, the world changed. All of a sudden, the sky turned red and the ocean was dyed black. Out of the Cimmerian seas arose a temple like none the world had seen, from which the Versus would wreak havoc on all of Orients. The Dominion lost contact with all Academia division heads, as well as Chancellor Kalia. The Lassi Fuyu and Machina both disappeared. Despite having no chain of command, many cadets challenged the marauding Versus and died. Academia was in utter chaos. Amidst the turmoil, traitorous insiders exposed Code Crimson, disclosing Class Zero's once covert operations. In turn, the surviving cadets held Class Zero responsible for the Dominion's downfall. Verdict. Finis. They used to depend on us. All of them. Now they've turned against us. Huh! Fine! Just let them hate us! All we did was carry out the campaigns Mother and the Dominion Brass gave us. They just want some place to vent their anger. Or perhaps this is simply our fate. As you know, those once hailed as heroes 
are doomed to be hunted as heathens. Situation. The main problem is, um, I think we first need to, you know, um. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Queen's panicking. I'll have you know this is quite serious, Jack. Rem still hasn't woken up. Yeah, she just passed out, and she's been unconscious ever since. Why didn't she tell us she was sick? She didn't want us to worry. That must have been her reasoning. Yeah, that's probably it. She always did lie to us whenever we brought up health issues. What? Seven! You could tell when Remsky was lying? Hmm? Well, couldn't everybody? Apparently Rem's been sick for a long time. Mother said that current science can't cure her. The doctors all said her phantoma is in such a weakened state that she may never awaken again. You're all bumming me out. Try to be a little more positive, would ya? Ah, yo, where'd that punk Machina go off to? Rem's in trouble. He needs him, that jerk. Since all of us remember who Makina is, that's proof that he's still alive. Ha! <laughs> so where is he then? It feels as if Class Zero is beginning to fall apart. The gloom, it's too much. But it's hard not to be depressed. In this situation... Listen, acting all gloomy is not going to wake Rem up or find Makina. If we don't cheer up, we'll just sink deeper and deeper until we drown in sadness. But cheering up won't change anything either. It will, it will! If we stay positive, we can picture a brighter future. Then we can come up with better ideas. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Jack. What? What? For the first time in my life, I respect you. <laughs> oh, you're making me blush. Wait, that's not a compliment. <laughs> If we have time to worry, then we have time to do something, right? Let's get some information. has been broken, and the souls have been released. Mother, what happened? Will you children be able to make it? What? Will you darlings be able to make it beyond the void, in spite of the minuscule? No infinitesimal probability of success. Mother, what are you talking about? I want you all to write the final page yourselves. Huh? None of you have ever chosen your own way of living. Not once. We haven't chosen our way of living? Queen, you understand, don't you? You mean the Akashic records? Precisely. Recorded in those pages are the will of the crystals, the cogs driving your destiny. All you have done throughout your lives. 
is dutifully carry out the orders you've been given. As written in the records. That's... So I want you to choose your own endings. This is the final freedom I give you as humans. Yes, you are all human. Humans cannot choose how they are born. However, humans are the only ones who can choose how they live and how they die. So choose, darlings, and inscribe the final page as you see fit. Boy, she was acting different. It was like she made even less sense than normal. My brain hurts. I mean, of course we're human, right, hey? Mother told us to choose, but what exactly are we supposed to choose? Problem, hey? First got beat. So what? We just gotta kick the snot out of those Rursus. <laughs> if Class Zero gangs up on them, they'll be toast. We'll eat them for breakfast. <laughs> you know, for once, your trash talk actually makes me feel better.
Hey there, guys. What are you doing in the war room at a time like this? I'm here because it's a time like this. We're in trouble. The Chancellor is missing. What? It's like, how can he leave us during this crisis, right? I can't contact the Consortium. And I can't even get a hold of Dr. Erasia. Mother too? At first I thought the verses got her. But then I realized I still remember them. So they must be alive. So, in that case, who's taking charge of the Dominion? That's the problem. No one. The chain of command is completely shot. So, I thought I'd at least take over here. So, what's the situation? Bad. Those Rursus things are attacking Rubrum as we speak. The cadets who went to fend them off are helpless against them. A lot of them are dead. Many cadets? Dead? From what I've heard, it looks like Rursus destroyed Phantoma in living people. So, we can't heal them? You can see how we lost so many. We have to do something. Fast. Well, you won't get any orders. You can only rely on yourself and your allies. I might get more information. Stop by again later. This is just about all I can do. Oh yeah, I should tell you something. That Empire guy, Sid, he went into that temple. Sid? What is he thinking? I don't know. I couldn't even guess... Huh? What's up? Airship! We can't even get close to the temple! We'll be wiped out in this race! No! Somebody help us! What happened? Respond! Dang! What about the others? No good. Don't tell me they were all wiped out. You guys! Stay away from there! Only the Chosen... may enter that land. The Chosen will touch... all creation... and obtain that which is truth. It is reason outside of reason, the reason of Agito. It is power, the authority of Agito. And the sage proclaims, In all things there is meaning. In all things, mourning will end. Make your choice. Will you choose reason or the power of kings? I will become Agito. I will sound the knell to shake all the world. When nine and nine meet nine, the depths of reason shall stir. When the seal of creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound. And thou shalt know, we have arrived. What's that? It's a passage from the Nameless Tome. Are you saying Sid's going to the Agito? Not necessarily. I only remembered it because... The situation is similar. A little too similar. If Sid were to become Agito, what will happen to the Dominion? I guess we can't just simply ignore this.
There's something I'd like to discuss with you all. It's a matter of great import. Tell us. It's about the temple that appeared behind the Peristylium. You know about that? The land of judgment, pandemonium. Inside that temple resides a judge, waiting to perform the final judgment and determine whether Agito has been born into the world. Does the vast number of Rursus have something to do with it too? to eradicate the world if there is no Agito. Depending on the outcome of the final judgment, it might go away. Might? Yes. Nothing is written beyond the judgment. That's the last page Mother was talking about! Yes. So, what should we do? You should know. That's not my decision to make. Everyone. What do you want to do? Huh? What do we want to do? Hey, what does the judge want to do? Why is he judging? What does the judge want to do? That's a good question. He would want to complete the focus the crystals gave him. Or so I would think. Hmm. But it's not like we gave him the focus. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right. So he's gonna erase the world if there's no Agito? <laughs> I don't ever remember saying that was okay. So what do we do? Save the Dominion? The world? From the Versus? No way! We're just cadets! We can't save the world! Whether or not we're just cadets, We've never gone into battle without receiving orders before. So we have to decide how our last page is to be written. Now what? I mean, let's face it. It's not like we have a lot of options. Do we face the Rursus and protect Ruben? Or do we just wait here until they completely annihilate the Dominion? Getting all this and running away. If that judge, or whatever he's called, is calling the shots, we could go beat him up, right? Yeah, I like that. It's simple. Like going on a mission. Besides, protecting people ain't my thing. I'd rather knock some teeth out. When one other than Agito stands before the judge, his life will return to nothing. That's what's written in the nameless tome. If what the tome says is true, then becoming Agito might be the only way to get to the judge. Yet, were becoming Agito such a simple feat, then I think someone would have done it by now. Indeed. However, have you by chance forgotten that Mother is gone now? Oh, that's right. Without Mother's assistance? wake up after losing in battle. Yeah, you're right. We've never had to fight a battle without Mother's help before. So we just sit quietly? And die with Rubrum? We can divide our responsibilities. And carry out the healing ourselves. Oh, nice idea! Have you forgotten? Wounds inflicted by the Rursus destroy Phantoma. There is no way to heal that. <laughs> so, whatever we choose, we end up dead. It's 
like she told us to choose how to die. Choosing how to die? Wow. Doesn't that mean that we can also be choosing how to survive? You know, you can be pretty clever sometimes. Celestia, is that you? It has gained that which is truth in the land of judgment. No way. Sid is Agito? If you would go there as well, I shall be your escort. Hmm? Why? The land of judgment cannot be reached by mere mortals. Only a Lassie can open the way. The Vermilion Peristilian currently has no seat, so I will act in their stead. <laughs> I bet it's a trap. This is a choice that I have made. All of you may choose to do as you please. There isn't much time left, however, for you to debate the matter. I am only able to retain my human consciousness for the present, while the dragon remains. 